Now under President Biden, there is a, it's almost like a, a beacon, like a Batman call to every illegal person in the world. You can come to America. We are open for business. And I mean, and we're seeing how they're actually crossing the border, pictures or images of them crossing the border with guns in their hands. Um, moving right along to uh, President Joe Biden. So President Joe <laughs> Biden's catch and release policy is under renewed scrutiny after an illegal alien allegedly crashed his minivan into a school bus last week, resulting in dozens injured and the death of an 11 year old Ohio boy. This was his first day of yep. school. Uh, on Monday, Breitbart reported that Haitian national Hermanio Joseph appeared in court in Clark County, Ohio, after being arrested on aggra aggravated vehicular homicide charges. So the charges occurred on, the tragedy occurred on August 22nd. Again, this was this boy's first day of school. So as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, we're all across the country, kids are going to school mm -hmm. for, the, for this week. Um, and maybe officially after Labor Day. And this tragic uh, incident occurred. Um, even more, not even more tragic, but to make matters worse, this uh, illegal immigrant, he was uh, entered the country illegally in 2022. He was then given an immigration hearing date and a notice to appear uh, and was subsequently released into the U.S. as is customary under Biden's immigration policies. Mm -hmm. This procedure has been called catch and release and was restarted after Biden dismantled numerous Trump era immigration policies. Blanca, I, I know you've been kind of on the forefront of this type of stuff. I mean, what are, you, what are your thoughts mm -hmm. on, on this Biden policy? We're seeing it actually hurt right here in Baltimore and now mm -hmm. here in Ohio. Well, again, um, you all know, as my good friends, that I am a proud immigrant. I am a proud naturalized U.S. citizen. I am also a proud mom and a wife of an individual who chose, he chose to become a U.S. citizen last year. Mm. Because of the pandemic, he waited over two years. He wanted to vote in 2020, but wasn't able to. He was a legal residing resident until he chose and took that oath, passed that exam, not just knew the two senators that we have in Maryland, but knew what it took to the allegiance that he had in Peru. We're now going to be the allegiance to this country. He took it seriously. And so when I read that this individual was carrying a license that the license read, it was a Mexican license. Mm. When I read that he was just given a notice to appear, which basically is like when you go to school and you just get a late note, mm -hmm. that note, that note can be lost between the hall and the bathroom. It's a hall pass. Okay. It's a hall pass. <laughs> uh, and when I also read that he is being held on a hundred thousand dollar bond, I wonder who is taking care of that. Mm -hmm. And the individual, the passenger who was with him will not be facing charges. This is what, it, what, this person has now affected 24 families. Mm. One now is gone. That's the 11 year old. 23 were injured. So it isn't just the bus driver and a person in the bus. You know, the bus can be replaced. That life is not coming back. It reminds me of the people that are committing crime here. See, right now, if no one is illegal, then a crime can pretty much be identified as an inconvenience or a freak accident. And that's what's outrageous right now. Mm. T, I mean, we hear how these border towns are being taken over by the, from the border by from illegal immigrants. But now we see this stuff affects us here, where you live, whether from Baltimore, Maryland, to Ohio, to New York. I mean, this stuff affects us here. We've been trying to tell people this but it, they only know it when it hits home they don't, mm -hmm. when, or when it hits even sometimes the news. But we've two million, over two million illegal immigrants have crossed the border recently. And they have a years long backlog of these catch and release or Biden's calling it welcome and release of illegal immigrants who are still, they have this hall pass. 
Oh, this is a major issue. If you are voting independent or if you are a Democrat, I mean, you are voting for open borders. This is basically. what it is. It's open borders. The Trump administration had ended the massive flows mm -hmm. principally by requiring asylum seekers to remain in Mexico while mm -hmm. their cases were adjudicated because most of these asylum seekers were actually economic migrants who are ineligible for asylum under traditional rules and they simply went home rather than wait for the hearing. Their failure to gain entry then discouraged other would-be migrants from making the trip. Now, under President Biden, there is a, it's almost like a, a beacon, like a Batman call to every illegal person in the world. You can come to America. We are open for business. And I mean, and we're seeing how they're actually crossing the border, pictures or images of them crossing the border with guns right. in their hands. I mean, and it's not just it's not just people from the, our bordering countries. You know, these can be terrorists. Mm -hmm. These are you see Chinese Chi Chinese immigrants coming in there. I mean, and now it's not even the border town. They're coming in at points of entry because they have this new and we've talked about this before. He's put in this new uh, thing called parole where potential migrants from all around the world have watched and learned, and now they're making trips themselves. Rather than stopping them, the administration is merely trying to steer them away from the unmanned sections of the border and toward ports of entry, where they can receive parole with immediate work permits, plus eligibility for most federal welfare programs within five years. This is ridiculous. We do not have a country anymore. We don't even have the resources to... to welcome these people or to to take care of them or no, maintain them and not only that but we have a system issue right now with police Poli police departments all across the country mm -hmm. are down mm -hmm. you know you don't have enough police uh, we don't even have people here a, a system in place to to help us uh you know, gather these people up if they are committing crimes and you brought up a good point so can you elaborate uh mm -hmm. blanca on what you mean by no crime will be uh illegal Right. If no one is illegal, then a crime can identify, can be identified as an inconvenience or a freak accident. And what I mean by that is that right now here in, in Maryland, here in Baltimore, there are chats, and I know that they're actual chats because they are groups um, that are pro-immigrants, as said, pro-immigrants, but they are individuals who are basically uh, basically coming in to advocate. They live here. They come and advocate for those who are fleeing Florida. For instance, mm. one person said to me, she called me in a panic in Spanish and said to me, Blanca, I heard that there's this new law here in Maryland where they are not going to hire illegals. I said, where did you hear that? Uh, well, you know, that's why people are fleeing back uh, from Florida. They're coming here. You said they are going to hire illegals here or not? She said to me that they're in Florida, they heard that there's a new law that employers will not hire illegals. Right. Is that Florida. true? So the people in Florida are fleeing here ah, to get work here okay. in Maryland. In Maryland, of course. So I had to tell her the truth because, see, the truth never hurts. I tell people the truth is actually liberating. People say the truth's going to hurt. No. Why would a truth hurt when truth actually can liberate you? It can actually establish you and solidify you. Okay. This is what truth does. Truth shines through and penetrates in the deepest of darkness, depth. So you're not going to tell me the truth is going to hurt. But this person I told her, let me tell you the truth. The truth is that there's already a federal law that says that we are not allowed to hire illegals, that people should be following the E-Verify like Domino's does. That's why I order pizza from there. Uh, they do E-Verify. <laughs> That's why. They verify that that employee can be hired, that they have the right documentation, not the right documentation, that they have the proper documentation to hire, okay? So I told her that this is a flat out lie. I told her who is the author of lies, um, and that there is a pandering effort to make sure that everybody votes, and I'll say it, that every Hispanic votes Democrat for the next 500 years. That's not going to happen. 
that's not going to happen. I told her that it's a lie. People are fleeing Florida because of a lie. And then they're coming right here to hear another lie. And so I know for a fact that over 300 people came to Baltimore two months ago. Ponca Street, right in Southeast Baltimore. Charter buses have come in. And so you're not going to continue to lie to people. And I'm going to well, say somebody, it. Some, but I'm going I think to say people to are people doing it. what think, it is. Yeah, but I think there are oh, this some. Is everywhere. Right. But I think there and, are some, like you mentioned, people here and in these uh, New York and other places like okay. uh, AOC. People like what, her, Ocasio yeah, Ocasio, Ocasio, right? Who mm -hmm. who tell people this also, and they somehow get around the laws, and they give these people work, illegal immigrants work. Well, of course they're, they're no. Well, the work, but but remember, it, 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 no matter if, if you work without papers, you may be also th th see this is the thing. If you come here and you're promised something for free, or you're promised a job, when then you do not get paid for doing that job. Then the, there's legal advocates to make sure that you get your back pay. Oh. What about the people? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What about the citizens who need? Uh, well, you legal know, advocates. just like I said, just go to Popeye's right over here in New Orleans and East Fayette oh, Street yeah. and, and, and just see yeah. just see the whole entire turnover. Yeah. There were people, right. brown people that were working there. Not one brown person works there you at the that. corner you of Orleans that. and uh, in Highland. At Popeye's. At Popeye's. So, this is what so we are not talking about, you know, and, you know, and this is, I'm not talking about blacks and whites and no, but when right. I see an entire see staff yeah. change, you know, my thought is what happened here and where are they now? I guess I am all for employment, but you have replaced because that's what the Democrats want to do. They want to replace and then they want to dispose. And and, and they want to replace, they want to dispose. Mm -hmm. And that is happening. So what happens to those, those, those people who were qualified to work? I'm not saying these people are not qualified. What I'm saying to you is that it's Shit. the replace and dispose method. And that should outrage. If I was black, I would be, I would be outraged. Right. Yeah. I would well, be. Well, we, 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 I mean, we I do see, I, I certainly no, should. Really, I've seen that just recently. <laughs> I've seen that shift in Popeye's, not just one, because I love biscuits. Because how could I not? <laughs> and I've gone to a few Popeye's in the area and I have seen the staff change. Shift. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well. Uh, All for entrepreneurship. But the thing is, when you have to replace, and I'm just going to go right there. I don't really care. Oh, I don't really care. Let's talk about the white woke women. Oh, Jesus. Let's talk about it. No, no, I'm tired of it. Well, let me hold so that. I'm way. tired of it hold, because hold. it's the white woke woman, which I know plenty of, plenty of, where it is let's pander a minority based group in order for us to get into power. And I don't care who doesn't disagree with it because I've seen it here in Maryland. Well, it's not just white.